you have to be incredibly agile to be 310 pounds, still have the mobility to reach that cornerback 10 yards down the field on this play action. What's up, Browns fans? Nathan Zagura here, and I couldn't be more excited because we have an exciting new segment for you here today. It's called the Browns Breakdown, where we break down tape of the Browns rookie class. And who better to do that with than the athletics draft analyst and our friend, Dane Brugler. Dane, thanks so much for being a part of this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait, Nathan. You know, we, we've talked a lot about uh, the Browns draft class and, you know, how – how optimistic I think we are about it, but now let's really dive in and kind of explain where that optimism is coming from. All right, and let's just start at the top. The 10th overall pick, he was the Browns' first round selection, tackled Jedrick Wills out of Alabama, a guy that I know everybody was excited about when the Browns got him, especially Joe Thomas, and it comes to his movement skills, which I'm sure we're going to see as we go through these plays, Dane. Yeah, and you know, if we're going to start with Wills, I, I think it only makes sense to start with his run blocking because when he arrived in Tuscaloosa, he was known as a mauler, someone who is going to dominate in close quarters, uh, but also he can get out in open space and he can be efficient on the move. And I think that's something that really appealed to this coaching staff with those movement skills that you're talking about. So this first clip we have is, is from the LSU game. And, uh, you know, we could see right away as, when we get going with this uh, with this clip, at right tackle, his normal spot, you see him get out in space and you have to be incredibly agile to be 310 pounds, still have the mobility to reach that cornerback 10 yards down the field on this play action swing pass. Uh, you know, Christian Fulton, number one, he's a good player, second rounder to the Titans, but this is outstanding by Wills. Look at breakdown in space, not allow Fulton to give him the slip. Uh, and I think you could really see his basketball background on a play like this. Uh, most blockers, they just don't have that type of balance, especially in space, where they can take on a corner and just eliminate him from the play. Man, and in this wide zone scheme, you're going to be asked to move. You're going to be asked to get to the second level, and Will's clearly shown the ability to do that here. Right, exactly. And that's we, we know he can win in close quarters because he's power-packed, uh, a guy that's explosive through his hips. But when you can be out in space and still have that same effectiveness – that's what really separates you, especially in this scheme. And that's why I think this, this coaching staff had to be really excited when Wills was still on the board at that 10th pick. And we know that they were very excited about it. They didn't think that that was likely going to work out for them, but it did. So in addition to those movement skills, as you see here on this play, what else have you seen from Wills that you like so much, Dane? Well, you know, he's outstanding in the run game. Uh, but I think where he showed the most development this year is in pass protection. And that's where we go to the next clip. Uh, and that's uh, the season opener against Duke. Uh, and this is really a great example of you know how important timing is. You know, he's lined up at right tackle, uh, just like he was in every game. And this is where, you know, we see a little bit of maybe the youth from a player like this. It's a great example of how important timing and angles are for an offensive lineman. On this pass, uh, pass set, he looks tall. His, his hips are high. Uh, you know, his punch is just a little bit off. And so that allows the rusher to cross his face, beat, a, beat him in, inside. And so, you know, we get caught up so much in arm length and those raw measurements. But much more important than length is timing to reach the rusher at the right time. And we can see on this clip, he's just a little late to you know, controlling the point of its attack. And it's always interesting when you see something like this early on in the season and you make a note to see if he can make those necessary improvements uh, later in the year. And so I think that brings, uh, you know, watching this clip early in the year, that brings us to the next clip uh, against New Mexico State. This is where you see him, he's able to reach his landmark. You see him uh, improve at the hand timing, that inside move. Against Duke, he was a little bit late uh, with that, with his offhand and being able to protect but not, not here against New Mexico State. Uh, we don't talk enough about the biomechanics of offensive line play, but Wills, this is a great example of a young player who was able to work on some of those finer points, understands all the inner workings of his body and how to use everything in unison to combat whatever's thrown at him. 
You know, Dan, it's interesting you brought up these two clips back to back because uh, I had an opportunity to talk with some of the people in our personnel department and also with Bill Callahan. And they said the one time that he can get in trouble on tape that they saw, he'd get off a little bit late, overextend, and his pads were high. And so they said one of the things they're going to be drilling is when he gets off the ball, but not only that, keeping that pad level low. And if he can do that, they think he's going to be absolutely outstanding. Yeah, and, and we're still talking about a young player. He just turned 21 years old this month, uh, you know, a player who's still coming into his own. But I think you have to be encouraged by the week-to-week improvement that we saw this year. And, uh, you know, really, and we talk about pass protection especially, to use a baseball analogy, uh, offensive linemen, uh, they're like batters at the plate. Uh, you know, they, they have to be ready for whatever type of pitch is coming at them fastball off speed breaking stuff you know and it's really it's the same concept with offensive linemen you know they face different types of rushers with different tricks up their sleeves and so that's what really separates the good from the great at left tackle in this league the best offensive linemen they're routinely on time no matter what the action required athletically and i think joe thomas you know he built a hall of fame career based off of being on time with his movements. And I think that's what really stands out with Wills is the wide base, the recovery quickness, the punch to control what's in front of him. It's not always perfect, but at least I think you see him understanding all of the timing aspects and he gets better. I thought we saw last year, he got better week to week to week. And you mentioned Joe Thomas, who obviously was thrilled with the Brown selection and a guy who looking forward to working with Jedrick Wills. You've got the venerable Bill Callahan on the offensive line in the offensive line room as the coach, that's a pretty good setup for a young tackle who wants to master his craft. Yeah, I'd say so. And, you know, I think he, he should feel awfully lucky that he's going to, uh, you know, or, or an organization that uh, not only had that, that glaring need at tackle where he's going to be able to see early playing time, uh, but the coaching staff, the way it's set up. Joe Thomas being more than willing to, uh, you know, go and, and, and give, you know, be an extra helping hand uh, in kind of an unofficial capacity. So, and, you know, really that brings us to our last clip, which uh, was against Auburn. And this, this is the game tape that just absolutely sold me on Wills uh, and specifically that pass protection. And this was just a dominant performance against Auburn. You know, in, in the stat sheet, this play uh, goes down as a negative result due to the pick six uh, by Auburn. But Wills, he does his job. He does a great job. Look at the, the pass set depth here. Uh, you see him get off the ball. And you see, look at that depth. I mean, he, he really does a great job cutting off the rusher before he can even uh, put a move on him. He stays square, uses his off hand to keep him from his chest, and then he uses his outside hand to snatch, finish him to the ground. So you can see the athletic movements, the power, uh, the technical savvy. Uh, but, and you know, at Auburn, they ended up winning this game. They won the Iron Bowl. But if there was an individual winner uh, from this game, I I thought it was Wills. I I wrote about it that week uh, after this game back in November. I thought he locked himself into being a top 12 pick with how he performed uh, against the Tigers. And a play like this really shows what he can do. Absolutely. Now the transition to left tackle begins. This is a lot of great right tackle tape, but for the Browns, he'll need to be a left tackle, Dane. And I know that you don't think that will be much of an issue. Bill Callahan is the one who helped Tyron Smith make that transition very successfully down in Dallas. Yeah, you know, it's all in theory because it's we don't have the tangible uh, evidence that he can definitively play left tackle. Uh, You know, that's something that there's a little bit of a leap of faith there. But I think when you break down all the skills Um, uh, everything that he offers being such a young player, I think you have to feel optimistic that he can make that move. uh, And and at the very, very worst, uh, you know, you're talking about a guy that uh, you know can play right tackle, but I think all the skills are there. All the talent is there to develop into uh, a high level left tackle in the NFL. Absolutely. And it's good news for the Browns. They got their left tackle. You saw what he can do in the run game. You saw his movement skills, which is critical in this wide zone offense. And then the most important thing that a tackle must do, protect the quarterback, Alabama. They entrusted him with protecting the blind side of Tua. The Browns will entrust Jedrick Wills with protecting the blind side of Baker Mayfield. For Dane Brugler, I'm Nathan Zagura saying thanks for joining us for the first ever edition of the Browns Breakdown. 